Courtney from Color Me Spiffy here with a very exciting September haul video for you. I was able to pick up some really awesome things this month. I've got about seven coloring books to do a flip through of and it's like six or seven and I finally got one of the color pencil sets I've been waiting for and um, I have a few other things to show you. So sit back relax get a drink have a snack um and let's get started so my first thing i want to show you guys is da 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 oops sorry for the glare let's just do it that way all right there we go ink tents so i'm super excited about this because i was finally able to get these i've been waiting a long time to get them and I was finally able to get them. And I'm gonna be swatching these babies out as soon as I can. As you see, it's the new case. Oh, look at them, they're just so gorgeous. I am so excited to swatch these out. Um, we've all seen ink tents, but I figured I'll show you anyways. So, let's see, there we go. So, they're the beautiful blue barrel. This one, oops, focus, focus, focus. Sea blue, 1200. Um, and as you all know how the ink tints works, it's actually not color pencil, they're water soluble. See the little paintbrush. Um, but it's actually ink, it's not pencil, so definitely going to be a learning curve but there's plenty of videos on youtube thanks to all of you lovely people and yeah i'm so excited for them and i will be showing them in swatches later moving on Alrighty then so the next i got was this case it's a i think it's a 76 count case it's gray pretty plain it's got Four different slots and I got this for the ink tents opens up three different whew, I haven't even opened this yet as you guys can see four different areas for the pencils I'm not gonna unzip all of them so I'm super excited and I am I never get a set of pencils without getting a case for them because it freaks me out so now this is so this one was a little bit of an impulse buy. Um, I had decided that to use the ink tents, I wanted to get like a set of brushes. So I got this brush case, which I thought was adorable because the little kitty cats. And I got this, this set of brushes. They were like, it's by Zating Artist Brush. Ooh, where's the thing? There we go. Um, and they're wood, pretty cheap to be honest, I think. I don't know. It was one that Amazon suggested. So, and then I'm going to wind up probably filling this up with some more of my colored, my watercolor stuff. But I specifically got these brush sets to use for my ink tents. So, and it just rolls up like this. Don't really know if I'm doing this correctly, but yeah. So those were just the supplies I got. Now next, um, I'm going to show you all of the coloring books I had achieved. Um, and I'm going to do like a flip through of all of them. So this is where it's going to become a little bit long, but that's okay. Like I said, sit back, relax, have a snack, um, and let's get started. Oh, by the way, slight disclaimer, I have not seen, I have not flipped through any of these books yet. I was waiting to flip through them while on camera. So, everything you see is a first for me. Um, so, that's really awesome. All right, so, preparing for the Halloween season, I got Jade Summer's newest book, Cute and Spooky, which I've seen all over the place. I've seen beautiful pictures done in this so far. Super excited. As always, it's on Amazon paper. Um, it does not have the black background. I'm very surprised about that. I kind of like the black background, but you know, it's, it's still a Jade Summer. I don't even know if 
there's devils in this or not, but let's flip through. <laughs> Ooh. All right, well, we've seen all three of those. Oh, look at the little owl. It was so cute. That was cute. Reminds me of Mario. Oh, little scarecrow bear. Oh, so cute. This is definitely different than their other books, I think. It's a little, I guess, eh, it's not really grayscale, uh, sort of, maybe like a light grayscale. Very different, very different for Jade Summer. The Amazon, this is a bit more thicker, I think, for Amazon paper. Um, it's not super thin. Oh, she's so cute. Oh, there's so many pictures I want to color in here. Mm. Guys, I don't know what to do. I chose all of those pictures, and they just keep getting pushed back because I really want to color some stuff in here. <laughs> double, double toil and trouble. That's adorable. Yeah, when I saw this, I, I had to get it. I had to cave and get it. And I this is one of the pictures I really liked um, from here that I really wanted to do. So oh. And these are very simple to color. They're not very detailed at all. And they're nice and big. And it is like a light grayscale for sure. It's a unicorn. I like that one too. Excuse me. Oh. Oh, sorry guys. Oh. There are so many pictures in here I like. I really like a lot of these. I might have to pause and just color in this tonight because I really like this book. Really, really like it. Oh, sorry about that, guys. So it looks like the vertical pictures are in the beginning and the horizontal ones are in the back. These are really different pictures. These are awesome. I definitely think a kid would really like to color in this. They're very plain picture. Well, oh, I mean, they're not plain. Oh, okay, it looks like oh, these are the bonus pages. One or two bonus pages, Jade Summer. One. All right, so that is that one. So the next one my mother got me, and this is an old one. 
Um, but this is my first one of Tatiana Bogie Mr. Lova uh, from the Nice Little Town series. I've seen these all over the place, um, and I love them. I think these books are just absolutely adorable. So I'm really excited to have this. Copyright is 20. Okay, so it's not that old. Co Copyright's 2020, but. Now, this is so different from Jade Summer. I mean, looking at it, it's thin artwork, detail for sure. Amazon paper. Um, and I'm also going to link all of this stuff down below. I got everything that you saw here today, you see here today on Amazon. So, yeah, I might have to work up to this one. These are a little bit intimidating, these pictures. I saw her most recent Halloween one. Um, I think it's like a witch theme. Oh, that's a cute picture. I like that. I really want as well. But there's only so many Halloween books one can have, guys. Because I certainly tend to not color Halloween all year round. Although the cute and spooky one, that may be one I color all year round. Because I just absolutely adore that one. That's a cute picture. Oh, little candies. Adorable. Little mousies. Little mice boys. So interesting. Oh, I like this one. I definitely like this one. I like this shoe. Wonder if Sim is gonna if Sim is gonna come visit us tonight while we're filming this. Definitely think Amazon has changed up their paper because it's like a little bit more thicker. All right, and that's the end of that one. So the next one is Magical Artifacts by Sachin Sachdeva. I've been eyeing this one for a while. It's a color by number book. Um, I only wish he came out with books that were on that glossy paper because I love that glossy paper, but I also really like the idea of this coloring book. Um, so I'm really excited to color in it. It's definitely good for the Halloween season. Looks like there's 25 illustrations. Same thing, Amazon paper, got your key over here, got the picture over here. Uh, sorry guys, if you hear that, it's my air conditioning. I'm like right under it. Now this is, I think this is like a medium level book, I'd say. I mean, there's some tiny little details. Kind of actually, this reminds me of um, the dollhouse book, like the level of like you, the artistic level, I guess. I'm not really sure what you want to call it. And I've definitely seen um, one of the people I love to watch is Lauren Loves Color. And she does beautiful color by number pictures. And this reminds me of something that she would like add her embellishments to. Cause you could really, cause I mean, they're pictures. You could really, um, Oh, that's the front cover. You can really get creative with this one. All these bottles, you could add like some white on them. That's pretty. Yeah, 
I really, really, really like this book by Sachin. I hope he comes out with more like this. And who doesn't like magical stuff? Seriously, guys. Yeah, I was really happy I was able to get um, some color and stuff this month. Uh, especially like a nice little pile of books. Got my ink tents. I'm so excited to use the ink, ink tents. Although I could definitely use some tips. So if you guys have some tips for the ink tents, that'd be greatly appreciated. could get super creative with this one with the embellishments it definitely feels like there's more than 25 in here isn't that cute <laughs> yes no abracadabra <laughs> oh witch hats that's so cute Ooh, I like this one your own magic. I like the quotes. That's awesome. Little wizard. <laughs> yeah, this is definitely like a medium level color by number, I think. And then in the back, he's got some color sheets, it looks like. Awesome. All right, moving on. So I did get another Satch and Satch Diva book, and of course, his 50 Halloween mandalas color by number. Saw this one, immediately had to get it. And the back has some pictures, and then looks like a 21, let's see, let's compare. So it's a little bit different than this one. There's 16 colors in this one. So this is an easier, I'd say this is probably definitely the easier of the two. Um, but I, I still think they're pretty detailed. All right, so let's go. All right, so we got the front cover which I normally don't do because it's the front cover on any color by number. If they have the front cover in the book, I don't do it because you can already see what it is. I'm gonna speed up a little bit, guys. Wait to see what the colors of these are. Definitely think I'm going to add some of these books to my pile because I've got to do some Halloween pictures. Yeah, I've said this before in my past videos, but I tend to not look at flip-throughs of coloring books. Um, I pretty much base it off of what I see on Instagram. Maybe I'll search on Instagram to see the finished pictures um, to decide whether I want the coloring book or not, because I don't want to be, I don't want to spoil the surprise because I don't like to look through the coloring books or watch flip-through videos until I get the coloring book. But that's just preference. I think everyone's different. Some people 
like to watch flip through so they know if they want it or not but to me it's a collection so even though if I might not like the coloring book one day I might feel like coloring something in that coloring book and then just go from there that's cute oh we got puppies now so that looks very similar it's a little different It looks like it's the same colors for every book. So you have the color the color list on the left side on every page if you haven't seen if you haven't noticed it so far. It's a big one. You know, I said the last time with the other haul video I did, I wasn't going to flip through all of the books in the same video, but I think I prefer having them all in one video. And down below, I'm going to link the books in the order that they are in the video. So if you want to, you know, flip through. And if you don't want to see one book, then you can always just go forward a little bit and you can go to that next book. You'll know the order they're in. And maybe I'll add chapters to this video. I'm not sure. Still learning. Definitely think I want to do at least three or four of these before the end of October. All right, guys, and that's the end. And at the back, it looks like he's got, you know, a list of all of his other coloring books. Sorry. So we've got stained glass, mandalas, doodle, and color. So that's what the magical artifacts one is in. Coloring book for adults. <laughs> Nail art. That's adorable. I think this must be new because I haven't, I haven't seen this in other uh, in um, the other books he has. And then this is his easier color by numbers. Okay. He had so many books out. Sorry, guys. Okay, and there's your color chart. All right, moving on. About halfway through, guys. So the next book I got, which I am, again, late to the game to this one, but I got 50 Autumn Miniatures by Camelia Angelkova. Again, Amazon paper got some pictures on the back you've all seen these books but I'm still gonna do a flip through anyways because I haven't flipped through it copyrighted in 2020 so I'm about a year late but that's okay oh. Again, going to go pretty fast because I'm pretty sure everyone's seen this at this point. Very simple. Line art's a bit thin, not super heavy.
<laughs> they're cute. And again, I've seen very beautiful pictures come out of these as well. I mean, all of our little miniature pictures. I see so many nice pictures all over Instagram of people, you know, of colorists and their artwork. Oh, look at the kitties. Oh, look at the kitties. He's so cute. <laughs> oh. I like this one. I like the little house in the background. I think that's the front. Oh, nope. Just kidding, guys. It's not the front. Oh. Oh, I like this one. Nice little caravan. Hmm. Not. Hmm. I can't recall what kind of animals they are. Lots of kitties. I love all the kitties. And snails, too. That's cute. Oh, another scarecrow. I think that's a fox, guys. Again, these pictures, they're so simple. Nice, quick little, I'd say maybe half hour to an hour, depending on how fast you color. That's a raccoon. Hmm. Interesting. Aww. All single sided, so you can definitely use your alcohol markers. Some corn. I think these are pears. Pretty sure. Oh, that's cute. More pears. Hello, Autumn. Happy Halloween. Right, and here we go. We've got, um, I guess this, I, I, maybe there's one coming. I don't, I don't know, but those are all her books in the back, which pretty sure everyone's, I mean, seen all of these, but it's always nice. All right, moving on, guys. It looks like we've got three more coloring books, right? Yeah, three. All right, so the next one, again, late to the game. And I actually brought this in PDF form and I totally forgot and then I wound up buying the actual book of this. So this is Victorian Darlings by Hannah Lynn. Copyright 2018, so I am way late on this one, but it's okay. Of course, you got all of the pictures in the front like she normally does. And this is one of her older books, so you can see how thick her lines are. And we've got the doubles. Okay, are they, are they any different? Because they're not different. Yeah, okay. Beautiful. Ugh. Look at the air balloons. Look at the little doolies there. Oh, isn't she gorgeous? Oh, Jack, paint me like one of your French girls. It's totally what that picture reminds me of. And this, I've seen this before. Beautiful. Can't wait. Eh, not one of my favorites, but... 
beautiful. So interesting. I mean, you can totally tell Hannah Lynn's definitely changed her art style. Oh, speaking of Jack, look, it's the Titanic. Ooh, it looks like a uh, apothecary. That's what it is. Uh, I've seen this one before. I love, love, love this picture. I've seen really beautiful colorings of this one, so I'm excited about that. Yeah, I'm not a fan of all the flowers, but it's cute. Oh, she's cute. God, look at all of her hair. Oh my goodness. If you ever want to practice coloring hair, guys, Hannah Lynn is definitely a good place to start. Hmm. Wow, that's a detailed one. Beautiful. Oof. Eh. Not for me. Oh, she's pretty. I think that's a robin. Red robin. Yum. Oh, I like this. I like that. I like the corset. Aww. Reminds me of like a Rapunzel picture. Teacher. All right. This is beautiful. I almost have, oh, she is adorable. I love her so much. Um, I almost have all of Hannah Lynn's books. I'm working on it. All right, guys, and that is it for Hannah Lynn. All right, coming in home stretch. So this is my first Julia Speary book. And this is an enchanting world. Okay, so there's two Im images of each. So I'm only going to flip through the first the first set of them. 2021. So this is a new one. Wait, no, they're not behind. Okay. Well, once we see this picture again, we know we've come full circle. Oh, look at the little unicorn. So cute. Good. This is a good book for grayscale. I think like a beginner grayscale because it's light. Maybe base it with alcohol markers and then color it over with some pencils. Absolutely gorgeous. I actually really like her artwork. She is so cute. And these again, I mean, these are pretty simple too. I mean, they're not super detailed. Sketchy too. That's really cool. Want it? Reward at one hundred thousand dollars. That cute kitty. <laughs> oh, she's cool. Interesting. Ooh, I like this one. A little unicorn. Interesting. And obviously Amazon paper. Forgot to mention that. 
sure at this point you can pretty much tell when it's Amazon paper. Oh, sorry guys. I... Oh, there's the air again. We've come full circle. So that's an enchanting world by Julia Speary. All right, and last but not least, I finally got my hands on Decora Anime Girls by Coco Wayo. And the on uh, the illustrator of this one, Amazon Paper, like every other Coco Wayo. give you a free digital coloring book. That's awesome. I don't know who the illustrator is of this. Normally they have their own, they have different illustrators. Hmm. Okay. Well, it was worth a shot. All right. So I believe there is no doubles in this. It's all single. And Decor is very bright and colorful. I'm sure you've seen it, um, like on the internet. If you you Google search decor, decor girls, um, totally up my alley. Would never dress like that because I certainly don't have the confidence to dress like that. But I do love their their. I love the art style. Very cute, very anime. Oh, that's the front cover. And I love decor because you can be so colorful with it. And I love being colorful, it's up my alley. Must be um, part of the style of the band aids. I'm seeing a lot of those in these. Oh, there's a band aid again. Yeah, this is a good book for portraits. I mean, nice and up close if you want to work on skin. Or even clothes if you want to do some clothes coloring. Coming to the end here. Yep, so that will be a lot of fun when I get around to it. All right, guys, so thank you so much for watching. If you made it this far, oops, sorry about the glare. Um, I appreciate you guys watching. As always, I am Color Me Courtney from Color Me Spiffy. I'm Color Me Spiffy on YouTube and Color Me Spiffy on Instagram. Please, you know, like and subscribe. You don't have to, but if you want to, go ahead. I will be posting the uh, Amazon affiliate links in the about the description down below. Might not post them right away with the video, but they will be on there um, eventually, like in a few days. Um, and you know, as I've said before, reach out to me if you want to do a body color in any of these books. Uh, reach out to me on Instagram, shoot me a comment on YouTube. And I thank you guys so much again. 
And as always, you know, hope you're staying safe, stay healthy, and um, take care. And as always, peace, love, and color. Bye.